Hey kids, Grandpa here. <clears throat> there, can you see me now? <laughs> well, it's uh, time to give Miss Lily her shot. And so I just wanted to kind of go over this with you because, uh, you know, a lot of you guys probably don't do this. It's a good way for you to save money with your pets if you have any experience whatsoever. Uh, giving your dog their shots is really super simple. So. You go out and you buy the appropriate shot. Now for an adult dog, um, I recommend what's known as a seven way and now they have what's known as a nine way. It has distemper, uh, endovirus type two, para-influenza, uh, parvovirus vaccine, plus it's got lepsterosa, uh, gryptophosa, and pomona, it's uh, Otherwise, we used to call it the DHLPP, but now they've added some more stuff into it. So now we have a canine spectra nine way, which pretty much gives the dog her shots for, um, well, just about everything. So, and then what it does, it comes in in two vials and one vial has got a little hard caked uh, deal in there and the other one has got liquid in it and then you have a syringe. So you... You twist your cap off and remove your syringe from its case. And then you pull, I see this is threaded in here. So you, you don't want to untwist it because the whole thing will unthread. So you just pull that off the end. Okay, you stick that in there, you shake it up and you withdraw stuff you pull that all the way down pull the needle all the way down so it's just barely in the bottle and then you pull this down so it fills now you notice I'm not getting anything from this vial okay the reason why I'm not getting anything from this vial is because I've already given Miss Lily her shot I'm just doing this again so you guys can see so now that you have this full of the liquid from that container you put it into the other container and you inject everything all the liquid into this container which had the little cake of uh, the actual drug in it. And then you shake. And you just shake the hell out of this. Just shake and shake and shake and shake until everything is liquid and suspended in there. Then you put your needle in. Make sure your plunger is plunged fully. And you again, you pull this down and you suction out and you vacuum out so that you get all of the stuff. I show you how efficient I was. That's how much stuff I didn't get from the last one. You see that little bit in there? I did a pretty good job. So then what you do is you have the dog come over. Come here, Miss Lily. Sit, sit. And you want to grab a little bit of the scruff of the neck like this here. And then you just stab it in sideways so you get into the flesh. You don't have to get into the muscle. You don't have to get into bone or anything like that. You don't want to hit that. You just want to pick up a little bit of the roll of the hair and get this underneath the skin and then you just simply you know you stick it in there and you just inject it in and it's just that simple you pull that out I like to give her a little rub on that spot make sure that it uh, it feels better afterwards and then all of that can get thrown out now the one thing I do like to do is peel the label off let me make sure these have the right, whoop, the right stuff. I like to peel these labels off. See, they're made to kind of come off. And then I put that on the dog's uh, medical records, which I have here. There's her rabies vaccine certificate. And the invoice for the certificate, and that's my truck registration. That's not going to do us any good. And there's her health papers. Okay, so I'm going to just put it right on here. So then I'll pull these labels off. They should come off pretty easy. They're usually made to do this. Yeah, maybe not with my big fingers and no fingernails. There we go. I got it on the run. All right, there we go. All right. So I take those. And it's upside down. And I stick it on 
there. That way later on, while I'm traveling, if Miss Lily has some sort of bad reaction to it, we can look this up and report back to the lab the exact vaccine that she got, including the, the lot numbers and all of that. So, so there you go. There's Miss Lily's uh, shot record now. She's got all of her uh, distemper, hepatitis, lepstrosis, parvo, uh, all that is in there. And she's got her rabies, and she is all set to go across the border. So anyhow, <laughs> do it this way. It's fun. Anyhow, so that's how you give your dog a shot, and uh, you get her all set up to cross the border. So she's good to go. We'll have more for you later. Bye, kids.